I know people mess your name up all the time. I wrote down a few names. <laughs> I don't want you to pronounce. <laughs> this is mean. These are known people. Okay. And you, yeah. Oh God, I'm sweating now. You, <laughs> okay. you may be okay. I may. Woo! I'm so excited! This is season two of One Course with JB Smooth. More amazing conversation, more laughs, more food, ah, and even more me. We're gonna talk, we're gonna have a good time as usual. And there you have it, a fully loaded Caesar salad for a new fully loaded season two of One Course with JB Smooth. Presented by Caesar Sports. Bon appetit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at us, we're back. I have to welcome everybody to One Course with J.B. Smooth. You know, I often ponder to myself when I walk into a room. You walk in that room and class is already lingering in the room. Class is already there. But then sometimes, class walks in the room and overpowers the original class that's already in the room. Like Il Finesh Hedera. <laughs> she walked into the room and it takes the class of the room to another level. Am I meant to be class? You are totally class. And look at us. We, the color I, scheme is there. I did and, and we didn't even call each other. We didn't say what you're wearing today. No. Want to match today? We didn't do anything. Any we, didn't that stuff. we didn't have to. I consider myself classy. I consider myself well, the feng shui I, of the room right now. And, and now you're the feng shui. I'm half the feng shui. And this looks like beautiful food. This is from an amazing restaurant called Cadence. Chef this, Shinari. This is the, your usual spot. This is my this, usual right? spot right here. To me, vegan food is the essence of New York City right now. How long have you been vegan? Oh, full-time vegan, six years. Six years? Six years. No six exceptions. Years. No exceptions. Nothing. Zero. Not, you know, it's something I smell bacon once in a while, and, and it gives me the, the chills a little bit. That, I gotta shake that bacon off. That's what I, I was I say, go away, bacon. You know, it's like someone say, remember me, and, and they tap you on the shoulder from behind. You turn around and say, uh, uh, who, who tapped my shoulder? And you turn around. And it's a piece of bacon. It's you, bacon. Maybe the bacon has a hat on and some glasses <laughs> and a belt and some shoes on. Are you describing yourself full, right now? Fully, a little vest on, a little vest. And a, a, a real beverage? This, of course. I didn't know. They asked if I wanted wine, and I thought I'd be judged. And you turned the wine now. I did. I said water. You never turned out wine. I wine know. is like the intro to a great meal. It is. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't been introduced as classy, I might take a swig of this bottle. So how does it feel to be from Harlem, and, and you're working basically in your own neighborhood. Um, you know, in some ways, it feels beyond wildest dreams, mm -hmm. right? You know, making it in this industry at all, um, thank you, mm -hmm. is beyond wildest dreams because mm -hmm. there are so many talented, qualified, beautiful people who want to do it that, that it never kind of pops for, yeah. or who it could, but who give up before they've got the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So in that way, it feels, thank you, um, surreal. Mm -hmm. But in other ways, it feels like this job especially was just meant for me, meant to happen. Yes. Right, and I don't, I don't get attached to, you audition for something and you learn that you have to let it go. Right? You can't yeah. be thinking about it all week after you've done it. You just got to dismiss it. And th this was one that I could not let go of um, after I left the room because it just felt like if this doesn't go to me, who does, who does it go to? Who gets mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. Who knows this woman? Like oh, I, do. I feel you. You know I what I mean? You. I grew I up. You. This is the church women that lived in my building that, that helped raise me, right? So it's kind of like you go into a bodega. And, and every bodega is supposed to have a cat laying on the bread. There, you know what I mean? There must be. It's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be a cat laying on that bread. You know? And if there's not, if it's, it's not, a money laundering front. It's, a, it's, it's not what it says it is. Woo! We walked into the room today, and, and you were just as tall as me. See? It doesn't happen a lot. It happens a lot. It doesn't happen a lot to me. It's, you know what? Is that a hard thing when you're an actress? I, I know I've had this issue where I feel like I'm too tall do for men, the role. Do men feel that way, though? Of course. A lot of guys in Hollywood are short, shorter than me. Well, yeah. Uh, so, hello. I know. So it's uh, it's a thing. You know, they got to stand on something called an apple box. Apple box. You think apple I box. don't know where an apple box they is? They should carry apple boxes around in their regular life so they can just like put it on the put ground on and the step on top box. of it and look taller. I once, I, one of my first commercials was for uh, the Oprah Winfrey Network, and it was supposed to be a kiss with a guy 
and they had to put him on an apple box. Mm. And he was clearly unhappy about it. So the kiss, there was no. You know what's weird now? When you sit on an apple box, your, your torso raises too high. That's true. So your legs gotta be really long. If you, you know, if the camera angle's right, yeah, it, yeah, it pulls the belt line up too high. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you know? it doesn't work. No, no yeah. I, yeah, it's oh, been you, a problem. Yeah, a long butt. A long your butt is real long. Your gluteus maximus is your too long. Your gluteus is too long for your, for your legs. <laughs> it forces your torso now to be a part of your gluteus maximus. Yeah, and that doesn't. No, that, that ain't cool. That's a weird shape. I know people mess your name up all the time. All the time. I know it's this thing where you gotta sit there like, I know, I know you've heard them mispronounce your name and you probably blink your eye one, <laughs> you know how you blink your eye one long time? You're like this. I wrote down a few names. <laughs> I don't want you to pronounce. <laughs> this is mean. These are known people. Okay. And you, you know, Oh God, I'm sweating now. You, <laughs> okay. you may be okay. I may. Take your time. Now take, now take your time. Look at them over, look them over. Look them over real good. Yeah. Okay. The, the first one, I, you know, I grew up in the 90s and, mm. you know, kids was our, so mm. Chloe Sevigny, this one I know. Mm. Right? Did I say right? I don't know. I, you don't even know, so I could say whatever I want. Mm. Uh, David Oyo, Oyoelo. I think they messed up the spelling. <laughs> this is, it's a spelling error, not my uh, oh, pronunciation. Blame it on that, blame it on that. I'm just reading phonetically. Okay. The last one, Chituel. Edgy, uh oh, edgy, edgy oh, 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 oh. You didn't <laughs> so even have any wine. Let me tell you. I got, I got the wine. You didn't even have any wine. I know, no but more. you also weren't. I'm, I'm actually sweating here. This is now I know what people do with my name. Mm -hmm. They just make up what they think it should be, mm -hmm. and they call me that. We love you. JB, we you. love your process. We love your journey. And this is what it's all about on one course with JB Smooth. You know, and maybe we can get you away from that damn bacon. Yeah? I really, I don't need, yeah. well, maybe. Well, good idea. How about that man make like a, a, a bacon meatball? You know what I ever thought about putting a bacon meatball? A bacon meatball would be like a, be crazy. like a, a regular meatball. It's a meatball? Like a pork meatball. But it's made out of bacon. It's crunchy.